and forge ahead. All right. All right, good. So let's go back to the question. What are some warning signs or red flags that investors should watch out for in the cryptocurrency market? So I, I, initially, I spoke about um, if, the, if the if the platform. I, I was I actually was talking about um, liquidity. So liquidity is the amount of money the project has. So for example, if you go to Coin Market Cap. CoinMarketCap is a website, www.coinmarketcap.com or www.coingecko.com. You will see the market capitalization of a particular project. I think that of Bitcoin is about uh, 500 billion or thereabouts. You will see Ethereum, 300. You will see Cardano. If the uh, liquidity, that is the money, that the project is what is very small. The chances that that project will scale is very slim. Some persons will tell you that you go to lower cap, as lower capitalized, like, like lower cap coins, mm -hmm. to buy them that they will shoot up. The chances of them shooting down is also very high. So when I talk about the, the funds that go through that uh, project and the funds that are valuable. You understand in and out, you know. So, if you don't have good amounts of money being in that, there's no point going there, you know. Then also, I actually spoke about those behind the project. You ought to know the names behind the project, the people, what the what the antecedents are. Then also, it also is also good that you know the developers around the project. You know, there's one time some years ago, I don't know, Dr. Pai, if you are aware of one coin then, one coin, the popular one coin, then yeah, yeah. people lost a lot of money. People lost a lot of money. They bought education. So the yeah, so, they did that. <laughs> yes. So that you buy educational materials and you buy the coin. Uh, you know, and all of them, you 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 a lot of people lost a lot of money. So it is all of this boils into knowledge, you know. So there is there are, there are, there are some platforms that are pyramid scheme in disguise of crypto. You see all those pyramid scheme then bring one person to bring two person. There are, is it, crypto is also involved now. There are some that will design crypto because of that. You know, you have to run anytime you hear bring one person to bring two person to bring three person. Run. There's one time. There's one called for Uh Then there's the for Sage came took a lot of people's money. Nigerians don't learn. Nigerians don't learn. Wakanda. Was that something called Wakanda? I never bought that, but people have mentioned it, Wakanda on just how somebody just said they did me like that on Wakanda. Was there a coin that was Wakanda? I didn't know that. All right. So, so, so I, I, now that you have, you have mentioned it, I've taken some bullets in this industry and thank God I'm still, I'm still alive. It started with. Which one is Wakanda again? Which one is Wakanda? <laughs> So, that, so Wakanda is a, is a project that was pushed by some boys, some very smart guys. I know them, a lot of them. Some of them, I, I used to tell them that this is their project. I, I, in fact, I want, it's a meme coin. So when the uh, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, meme coin, Grifo, so they did, they started doing their own African-based uh, meme coin. It was not backed by every anything at all, but they said they are going to build kind of utility around it for people to be paying for things in Nigeria. But this is the deal like these guys are the same guys that are that are that that have done projects in the past that have made people lose money but they rebranded. Is they are Nigerian guys and, and, and as an industry person I'm I'm saying it here live and direct. If we have proper regulation in crypto today, those guys will be fished out. There's also one that did one third coin. You might know him. We got an issue. I because I questioned third coin earlier. I, in fact Although we've settled that issue, he promised to kill me because I cut that coin out. I cut that coin out. That that coin is a terrible coin that people should look before. But well, that is the problem. That is the problem in the industry. Everything is about hype. Even the ones that have good. Take Giscon. We delivered our project within six months. And 99% of ICOs out there have not delivered their own in five years. But we still didn't get traction because people like you won't promote that. You want to promote the anxiety. No, no, no. No, no, Doctor Fred, that is not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair, my person. I said, people I, don't like that. I said like you. I didn't say you. I said like you. <laughs> As the leaders, I don't see any of them promoting 
uh, now I'm not trying to uh, argue for GISCON, but I understood. We did a short ICO, which was a flop for different reasons because we got attacked by the Nigerian market inside of Clubhouse. And that more or less tarnished everything. And it's fine. I ended up having to put my own money on the project. I had to, it was to, that was to raise funds for Club uh, GIST House, right? So I ended up having to spend my own money because the, the ICO was a flop. But the point is, our project came out less than six months after the ICO. We see have it. Yeah, it may not be as hot as Clubhouse, but GIST House is there. They can see the project. But 99% of ICOs launched by the white people they never do the project. But yet, Nigerians are still very excited to go buy it. And I don't know why. When somebody is like, somebody's launched a project, he never did the, uh, uh, the project. He collected some money. He disappeared. He showed up again with another coin. He's talking about a project. He disappeared. And you are still giving him money. That, to me, is insane. But the few, because the truth is, I was stunned when I did that research to find out that less than 5% of those who launch ICOs actually deliver the project they said they were going to do. Just as it's live, we delivered ours. And I'm like, okay, all these big coins, where are their projects? None. And people don't think about that. It's a, the crypto market is a wild market. That's why I'm, I'm leaving it for you guys. Most who go in there, they buy based on the app only. And my own advice for you guys is that don't buy on the hype and then be crying later. Don't do that. You got to check what you are buying. And if you don't understand the market, leave it for them. Like me, I've left it for them. I don't do it again. But, those no, but, but Dr. Dr. Pai, you, have, you have a strong potential in, in, in the crypto market. I will tell you, for your person, from the experience that you've shared and from the person, things that you've done, the, the, there, do. are ways, there are ways, there are, there are things that you do going forward now so if you want to build a project i like i know what you will do now that will make you so you you don't have to be the face of the business anymore you don't have to I'm be not gonna do, yes i'm never going to do if i'm going to do i won't be the face of it i want to focus on what i know software and coaching but you're no, right. you, you, can still, you can still do crypto i, I like i can like say i know what you can do i know people that you can partner with the oibo people face what is happening to nigerians in this industry it is the fact that some people believe that the initial stage they have to just cash out. They would they know the thing is bad though, but they will enter to just cash out in the, because they believe that when it's when is when they when it have stayed a particular period, it will fall which will die. Then they will now they will the ponzi mentality. A lot of Nigeria has ponzi mentality. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Well, time has been spent. Uh, we've covered a lot.